Hi, I'm Tom English, and our first lesson in geometry is about uh, uh, calculating the distance between two points, or that line segment uh, connecting the two points, and also uh, talk a little bit about midpoints and how to calculate the midpoint of uh, two points. Uh, when you look at the distance between two points, I'm sure uh, most teachers uh, trot out the distance formula and unfortunately I find that there's just too darn many formulas and the kids instead of thinking through the problem they often are looking for what formula do I use and then just want to plug numbers into a formula to get their answer have no idea the concept behind it and so forth I'd much rather think of the distance between two points as being the hypotenuse of a right triangle because if you think about it when we're talking about two points, uh, the distance between the y's form the vertical leg, the distance between the x's per, uh, form the uh, horizontal leg of a right triangle, and then all we have to do once we know those two sides is use the Pythagorean theorem and calculate the hypotenuse, which is the distance between the points. So rather than trying to memorize a formula, and I guarantee you uh, unless the teacher gives, and sometimes uh, they do, give out the formulas ahead of time, uh, it just uh, is too much to remember. But if they think through it and recognize that, oh yeah, we've got a right triangle here, and I know to find the difference in the y values, usually I subtract the top one uh, from the bottom or the bottom from the top. It doesn't really matter what direction we go. But let's use these two points. We've got 4, 3 is one point, and the second point is a negative 2, negative 5. Okay? What's the difference in the x's? Well, you subtract one from the other. So we've got 4 minus a minus 2, which would be equal to what? 6. And the difference in the y's would be 3 minus minus 5, which would be equal to 8. Now, again, if we took them from the different direction, we'd end up with a negative 6 and a negative 8, but that doesn't really matter, because what do we do with the Pythagorean theorem? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. The sum of them is 100. Well, if c squared is equal to 100, c is obviously then equal to 10. So, thinking through, recognizing that we have a right triangle, uh, the difference in the y's is the vertical leg, the difference in the x, the horizontal leg, I think it's much easier and uh, actually probably simpler in the mind of the student rather than trying to figure out what formula am I supposed to use. The second thing I'd like to uh, point out is uh, midpoints. Uh, they often will, let's just take these two points and to find the midpoint, the midpoint obviously is the halfway point. It's a point in the middle between those two points. And I think the easiest way to remember that is, is the average. When we want to find the average of uh, 10 items, we add them up, divide by 10, that gives us the average. Well, that's all the midpoint is. It's the average between the uh, two points. And so what we'll do is just take the average of the x's and the average of the y's. That will be our midpoint. When we find the average of two items, what do we do? Well, we add the two items. 4 and a minus 2. Total is 2. We divide it by 2. So the x-coordinate for the midpoint is going to be 1. The y values 3 minus 5 we add those we get a minus 2 divide that by 2 and our y value is minus 1 so the midpoint here would be a 1 the midpoint of that line the coordinates would be 1 comma minus 1 okay fairly easy just remember, midpoint is average. I just take the average of the x, the average of the y, and I got it. Okay? 
Next, I want to talk a little bit about parallel lines cut by a transversal and all that that uh, imparts. Thank you.